We I'm lay in the, the sea, they watching us. Oh, when we're lost in the zone, ain't no stopping us. No, yo, I'm chasing the bag, and I swear I can't stop you now. They told me I'm bait and I'm popular. I got the cash, but it's not enough. I'm taking over, I'm the officer. Steady topping up, yeah. What's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video, and I I'm just gonna put this out there and just say this quickly. I don't want to keep making videos like this but this is probably going to be the last time you'll see a video like this unless it's to do with anything else serious but I feel like I need to make this video because people keep asking me questions people keep making assumptions people keep you know it's, it's just getting to the top now so if it's a thing where you're concerned about what's happening with me just come back to this video if that makes sense because this is going to be the foundation for everything this is the whole explanation to everything so i'm just going to start off by saying that i'm aware that i have not been posting on youtube regularly and i did say that when i finish college i'm going to be posting much more and during the summer i'm going to do a lot more things there's been numerous amount of times where i have said that i will be doing more things that will allow me to um, build my content and you know collabs etc football videos i've even mentioned that in the past and as you can see i've never got around to doing that and as you can see i've never got around to doing any collabs because if you still look on my channel there's probably only one or two people that have that i've done other videos with other than that it's just been me so i'm just gonna talk about that and not even just that, I'm just going to talk about that throughout today. But um, I just want to say that I have not left YouTube. I'm not thinking of leaving YouTube. But it's just a thing where I just don't know what I'm doing anymore. And I'm not saying that just to sound clear or anything. But I literally don't know what I'm doing here. Because I have this YouTube channel, right? And as you can see... I have just been putting out hair videos on top of hair videos and I've been saying this so much times I don't want to just do YouTube I just don't want to do hair videos and just be known from hair videos but unfortunately that's what it's come to and I've said this time and time again this is not the reason why I wanted to start YouTube like hair videos was not something that I was thinking about doing but it just happens to be a thing where I just kept doing them and more people became invested and just started to subscribe and you know want to check out more of my content and it's the thing where if i don't do anything like if i don't do hair videos or if i do another video that has nothing to do with hair it's like you can just see the big drop within views or you just see that people are interested and even recently now i've just dropped a couple of hair videos and on those last hair videos not much people have been watching them and i can see why because i have not been as consistent on youtube and I just want to point out that I don't get me wrong, I love doing the hair videos. I absolutely love it. But I look on other people that do hair videos and have hair channels, I can see that they're growing, they're growing much more faster, they're getting recognition of their hair videos, they've got up to fifty thousand, a hundred K, so on and so forth. And some of them have only been in the YouTube game for about a year or two. And it's like I've been doing YouTube for almost three years now. This September will be three years since I've been doing YouTube, and I've only got four thousand subscribers. And it's like I keep hitting a thousand subscribers each year, so it takes me a whole year just to get another thousand subscribers. Whilst for some people it takes a couple of days, and it's just like, what am I doing? Because I don't want. Like, I understand. I need to be patient and that's what it's that's what it is about grinding and i can be honest with myself right now i'm i'm not doing enough but there'd even be times when i was uploading day after day like you guys that have been watching those videos i was uploading every single day and it was like there was no growth there was no change and i'm gonna be so real i would just sit there stressed sit there annoyed because i was just like what am i doing you know and i was just thinking like even though I don't really enjoy doing hair videos on top of hair videos, it would be nice to get some recognition from that. And yes, like I do get recognition from that. I'm kind of known for it, but it's just like, 
there's there's not like i'm not growing like it's, it's like i'm just stuck in the like i understand my most video it keeps getting views day after day after day but it's just like it's just that video that everybody's going to no one's really checking out my other videos there's only a couple other videos that have like I, I like do you know what i mean like those videos have less than 10k views or whatnot and i'm sounding kind of greedy with stuff as well it's just a thing where when you do something for a long time and you feel like there's no growth and you're not really enjoying it you just think to yourself like what are you doing because i'm not enjoying myself right now i'll be 100 percent honest with you guys i'm not enjoying myself i'm not enjoying youtube you know and i don't i i can't recall the point where i was saying that i was enjoying youtube it was probably back when i was doing the public videos but even back then i wasn't being myself to get to where i was so i wasn't really and truly enjoying myself but now i can tell you that i'm not enjoying myself at all i just feel like i'm just i just have this youtube channel here and i need to post something or else no one's gonna watch excuse me no one's gonna watch what i'm doing and it's just like i don't want to be feeling like that but unfortunately it's come down to that and I don't want to keep doing that because I don't really like this light and I feel like this one is better. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really care, but I don't want it to be like this, man. Because those of you guys that were here from day one, you guys know I was not doing hair videos. I was dropping so much skits. I was posting so much skits. And I'll, I'll be so real. I, I really like acting. I really like the whole acting field. I really like the whole skits. I, I like all, I like doing all the skits and stuff. And it's just like I would be doing much more skits, but they do not get recognition. And I've said this so much times in the past. And it's just like no matter how much times I will push myself for doing the skits, it's just like none of them will get recognition. And yes, maybe some big YouTubers have, you know, seen some of my skits, but that's only it really like they're not growing like i couldn't there's only one skit that i have done that's ha that has a thousand views or over a thousand views and there's another one that's almost hitting a thousand views apart from that all of them have about hundreds of views 200 views 300 views like i'm grateful don't get me wrong but it's like the content that i want to get out there is not getting out there but the content i don't really want to get recognition from is the one that i'm getting recognition from and it's like bro like i, I don't enjoy myself because with the skits i'm i'm enjoying myself doing that I, i'm smiling because i'm i'm doing comedy i like acting so it's something that i enjoy with the hair videos it feels like i'm just forcing myself to enjoy what i'm doing and it's like i don't really want to be doing my own hair all the time because if it's a th like i don't know I, some of you guys won't really understand this but because i get my hair done for free like i've never really like paid to do my hair but because i get it done for free it's like what's the point in me doing my own hair whilst i have my sister that can do my hair or hairdresser at my dad's barbershop do you know what i mean and it's just like there's no point in me doing my own hair when i have those facilities now you know now everything's open back it's not locked down anymore do you know what i mean so like yes I've, I've benefited from learning how to do my own hair but it's just a thing where i'd rather go to a hairdresser and i'm not paying them so it just makes sense for me to go to them rather than me doing my own hair but i don't want to keep doing that all the time and it's starting to get to a point where it's come to that and i've noticed i'm sure you guys have noticed as well but some of these hair videos have become very repetitive like especially the braid out videos I try my best to avoid doing a braid out video because I've done so much of those. I, I, I'm i pretty sure I've done over five braid out videos. And I'm gonna be so real, I'm tired of doing it. I, I don't wanna keep doing that all the time, you know? And it's just a thing where I, I just sit down to myself sometimes and I just think like, what am I actually doing with myself? Because reaction videos as well now. I, as you guys know, I've, I've gotten closer to God during my journey on youtube and once you become a christian like you realize a lot of things and as a christian i don't really listen to as much music as i used to so all those secular music like I, I, how can i say this 
like a lot of the UK music basically. Like I don't really listen to what's happening. Like all those stuff on GRM Daily, I don't check them out no more. I don't listen to any new UK music that has dropped. Like I don't listen to it. Cause I'm I'm just not I just don't listen to music like that nowadays. Like as you guys know, I listen to a lot of Michael Jackson, which I, I I'm even strained from that now. Like I don't really listen to much of him anymore. Um I'm just listening to much more gospel music and it's just this thing where as a Christian you become to realise a lot more things and when you realise the type of music you're listening to that's when you kind of just stray away from it and that's what's pretty much happened so that's why I don't really do reaction videos I, but the main reason why I don't do reaction videos is because YouTube either blocks them or I will upload them I'll be able to monetize them and then a few weeks or months down the line YouTube will will give me a copyright claim which prevents me from allowing the video to be monetized and sometimes I can't even fix it at all so there's certain reaction videos that I was able to monetize and then a few weeks down the line YouTube just said no you're not making no more money from this we're gonna take we're gonna take all the ads away from this video and it's just like I, I, that's why I actually feel for some react, um, UK reactors or even US, anyone that does reaction videos actually. Like I actually feel for them because I can understand what they're going through. For somebody to do reaction videos on top of reaction videos and that's all that your content's based around. Like The fact that you have to go through that, I, I, I could never. But that's why I actually feel for them. But it's just like, I'm not putting myself through that again because it's just too much. And it just gets you stressed, you know? And everyone gets excited about the whole situation of YouTube where you're, you're getting money or whatnot. I'll be real, everyone gets gassed when it comes to money, but my thing is, I don't really care about the money. If I'm not enjoying myself, I'm not bothered. I couldn't care less about the money I'm making. You know what I mean? And that's one thing I don't like with people. Everyone's so money motivated. Oh, I want to see six figures in my... I don't care. If I'm not happy, I'm not, I'm not, I don't care about the money, bro. Because even on here, for example, you guys know that I'm money, I, my, you, there's ads, there's probably ads on this video right now. I may be making money from this, but I'm not enjoying myself. Do you know what I mean? So I don't really care. Like, there's been times I've even forgotten that I get paid from YouTube, you know? Because sometimes you see the money just go, and I'm just like, oh, Shane, where did that money come from? And I'm just like, oh yeah, YouTube. But I don't want to keep doing this. I don't want to stay in a position where I'm just forcing myself to make videos. Because I feel like you guys can even see that I'm forcing myself to make videos now. And I don't want it to be like that, you know? And I'm in a position where I'm coming down to the point where I need to know what I'm doing for my future. And I have absolutely no, no idea. Like, I don't know if I want to go to uni. I don't really want to go to uni to be honest because even all the stress that I'm getting from college and knowing that my second year is going to be even more stressful I don't even know if I can take college mentally right now you know so if I if I'm here stressing over college how am I even going to manage with university and having an apprenticeship you know and that's why I really wanted to like drive down my whole YouTube route and just get at least some recognition from it and enough money needs to be financially stable from it so i don't have to worry about going to uni or anything like that because i would just I, you know i just feel like this life where you enjoy what when you're enjoying doing what you're doing and you're making money from it i feel like that's the top goal you know and that's always something where i wanted to strive for and i was hoping that i would make youtube a full-time thing but it's coming to a point where i'm just like that that dream is just going out the window I'm not saying nothing is possible, anything is possible. I can even make that dream possible now, you know? Because it doesn't matter how long you grind for, something can still happen for you. But I actually have to start thinking. And it's just like, if I really want this YouTube, if I really want to blow up on YouTube, I have to get my head down. But I, I just don't have the motivation for that right now. Like, absolutely not. Absolutely not. And I have so much video ideas, but it's just like, I know if I do them, no one's gonna watch it because everyone wants hair videos and that's why i'm just stuck because it's like i just don't want to be stuck to doing one thing because i'm somebody that's very creative so i don't like sticking to one thing i like to do lots of things 
I, I, like, I would love, I would love to do football videos. I would love to do vlogs with other people, collabs with other people. You know, interesting videos, not just hair videos. Because if it was a thing where I was getting recognition for my hair videos and I was actually growing, then fine, I would continuously do them. But that's not the case for me, if that makes sense. So it's just a thing where I'm just stuck, and I just hope you guys can at least understand where I'm coming from because. I don't want to make it seem like I'm just complaining and I'm just moody and I'm just, I don't know, like, just just not happy and being ungrateful. Because, don't get me wrong, like, when I was starting this YouTube thing, lots of people didn't believe in me. Lots of people just laugh at me, laugh at the fact that I was taking forever just to hit 100 subscribers or even 1,000 subscribers. You know, people would laugh at me saying, oh, it took you a year to hit 1,000 subscribers. You're so dead, blah, blah, blah. And you know, those stuff would actually hurt me. You know, because I would just sit down and just, not even that, I would go to sleep just thinking about what people would say about me. Like, people would even make fun of me because I was using my phone. I was using, what phone was I using? It's even here right now. I was using this phone for my videos. And people would just laugh at me because I was using a phone and not a camera. And even though I have a camera, I don't even use it because I just feel like, what's the point? Like, why am I going to make my videos top quality when I'm not even enjoying it? Do you know what I mean? Like, the vi the quality that I'm uploading with, with my phone that I have currently, it's not even that bad. Some of these videos I can get up to 4K resolution. So, I'm not complaining about that. But it's just a thing, because so much people were, you know, doubting me, I just wanted to prove them wrong and there were some people I wanted to prove myself to as well and I've been trying to do that over the last couple of years and it's I just feel like I'm, I've been stuck you know and it's just getting to a point where I just I, I don't know what I want to do I don't know what I'm doing you know even on TikTok I'm going on TikTok as well and I post more TikToks than YouTube videos because TikTok I don't even try on there anymore. Like, I, I just I just do what I want on there. But even on there, like it just feels like I'm stuck as well because I'm I'm growing, but I'm not growing, growing. If that makes sense. Like it's the same with YouTube. I'm just it's it's the same situation. So that is why I'm just here at the moment. Like I, I'm just so confused. I don't know what I'm doing, and it's just like. Nobody understands. I feel like people can only understand as much as they try to understand you, unless they have actually been in a situation like this or similar to you, then that's when they can fully understand. But if you have not been in this situation at all, I don't think you can get where I'm coming from because it's just like everyone's just down on you to hurry up and pick what you're doing now, or if you're going to be this person on the streets, so you're going to be on the streets this time and the third. It's either you do YouTube, either you do this. And it's just like, everyone's rushing me. Everyone's just like, it's just like, there's too much going on. Like, I just want to sit down and just close myself off from the world right now because everyone's just on to me about this whole thing. And it's just so irritating sometimes. And, I, and as much as I try to vent out, it's just like, there's no change. As much as I try to change something, there's no change at all, you know? Meeting people that that are new, like meeting, they're seeing different faces, and it's just like I don't know what I'm doing. I I honestly don't know. So I just want I just want to make it clear that I don't want to quit YouTube. I don't want to, and I'm not going to leave it. But just know, like I'm just trying to think about my life right now, because just 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 think about it like this as well. On top of all of this stuff that I've spoken to you guys about right now, I still have personal issues in my life that I'm fighting with every single day, you know? That's what I'm trying to fight every single day on top of that. So, there's just so much going on right now. I don't know how I'm even getting through myself right now. Like, all I can do is just thank the Lord because... If it wasn't for him, I don't know. I honestly do not know. And I can honestly just thank my, my friends as well. You guys know who you are. And it's just like, you know, just losing people in in my life. Not, not in terms of death, like just losing like friends. 
because they they just don't like the person that I am no more, or they just don't want to talk to me, and then just sitting there reminiscing on those times I used to have with them, and it's just like, why why has life come to this? Do you know what I mean? So I I, I don't know at this point. But I just don't want you guys to sit there and, and think, oh, where's this guy been? You know, like, I'm still here. I'm just trying to figure out where my life is going. Because at this point, I have no clue. Absolutely no clue. And, it's, and I just feel like people are just down on me to make decisions ASAP. And one thing I don't like doing is going into something that I'm unsure of doing. You know? And... I just really want to get recognition from something, you know? Cause I, I really don't want to stay in this academic life. Like, I don't want to do it. And as much as people say, oh, you need a degree, you need a degree. Why am I going to get something that's just going to sit down and collect dust? Because I know within myself, if I take one of these subjects that I'm doing in my A-levels right now and study them for university, I'm most likely not even going to get a job that has anything to do with those subjects that I was studying. So I just feel like I've been wasting my three years in university studying that subject to not even get a job that has anything to do with it. I'm not saying university is not the move, but if, if you want to go to university, by all means go. Like, it, it has its positives to it. But even for me as a person, I just don't think I would be able to handle it. I feel like it's too much for me. And on the apprenticeship route, like, the things I want to do in the apprenticeship, I just don't feel like it would work anyway because obviously I have YouTube, I have TikTok, you know, I am, I don't want to say that I'm out there, but I am out there. So if people were to come across me that I would work with, I could get, I could lose my job for that. Do you know what I mean? So that's why I don't really want to go down the apprenticeship because I'm kind of worried about that. So that's why I'm just here sitting confused because I don't know what I want to do. And it's like nobody wants to try to acknowledge the fact that I'm trying to explain these things. And everyone's just so money motivated right now. And it's just like, I don't care. I'd rather, like, I'd rather be sitting down with minimum wage or just less money with a happy, with a happy family. You know, at least somewhere finan somewhat financially stable. I'd rather be sitting with a family somewhat financially stable than having a job where I'm getting thousands and thousands of pounds and I'm not even happy. I'd rather just be happy with my family, you know? But I can't even do that right now because of all of this and it's just, it's just too much to take on, you know? Turning 18 this year and all of that, like it, becoming an adult, sometimes just reminisce on my childhood because you don't even have to worry about this like as a child you're so so looking forward to growing up you know you just wanted to grow up fast now it's just like i don't even like this life you know and on top of that just seeing other people struggle as well like other children struggle especially you know that's why i do want to adopt children and i'm older because i don't ever want to see another child go through a terrible childhood knowing that I had a decent childhood and I could help them with that you know so I don't know but it's I, I just hope you guys understand where I'm coming from but right now I just don't know what I'm doing so if you're just sitting there wondering why I have not been uploading videos this is the reason why okay I don't ever wanna I just just don't think that I'm just doing this because I just want the money like that's the one thing i want you guys to get out of your head if you even think that to you yeah to you lot that don't think that at all about me thank god because you guys know who i am but if there's any of you that think i just do this for the money please get that out of your head because that that's something i would never do you know never but um yeah in terms of all the live streams i don't know if i'm going to be coming back to that like that's this is why it feels like so bad as well because i've said i was going to do so much things for me to not even push myself to doing anything like that because with collabs now i've even said to a couple of people that yo let's let's do this video i'll be happy to do it all well, now i have not pushed myself to do anything and it's not even me being selfish or anything like that like i just don't 
I just don't know what I'm doing, you know? And I just don't want to sit down and clear this with people that actually know what they want to do in their life. And I'm just here, like... Because speaking of that, even, like, so much people know what they're doing with their life. Me, I'm just sitting here, like... You know? And it just makes me feel bad because everyone in my circle knows what they want to do and I'm just sitting here like a plum. And even my setup as well. Some of you guys know that my ring light was broken so i can't really use it as much as i would please so sometimes i just try to lean it on my wall or my um drawer or something and just put my phone behind one of my um hair products or something like i don't know so just so my phone can stand up and it's like i'm doing all of this and sometimes it takes me up to 10 minutes just to try set up my whole um area so i can just record for you guys and sometimes i just get tired from that and i just get irritated and in the video you can just see that i'm just annoyed like even at the start of this video like you guys can see i was irritated because it took me a good 15 minutes or so to try sort out my whole setup and it's it's just so annoying you know like and, and people don't even know the half of it and they just think you're being lazy and they just think you don't care but really and truly, like, I'm actually trying my hardest sometimes, you know? And it's like, I don't want to keep... Like, I could easily buy a new ring, like, don't get me wrong. But why am I going to buy a new one for it to just break again in the next few months? Because this one didn't even last a year. Do you know what I mean? And I just feel like people don't even understand where you're coming from. Like, I, I mentioned that already, but they, they just don't get it, you know? And I just sit here to myself and just think, like, I, I actually get so stressed. Like, I look down, like, time and time again, I'll be on the road or something. I'll just look through my YouTube channel, I'll look through my videos. I'm just like, I just sit down and shake my head because just like, wow, like, I could be doing so much better. I just, I just sit there and be, I just sit there disappointed to myself. Like, even before I made this video, because I'm sure you guys know about Trey Rags, right? I was watching his video before this and it kind of just gave me that light to just make a video like this also. Even though his situation is very different to mine, like, I, 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 it just gave me that foundation to just be like, okay, cool, you need to make a video like this as well so people understand and they can start asking. Because people continuously ask me about hair and, and it's just like, I, so I'm, I just, I'm going to be so real with you guys, I get so tired, I get so irritated, I just can't stand it sometimes. Just the continuous questions every every five seconds, every day, like it's just annoying, you know. It's, that's why I take forever to reply on Instagram because I just get annoyed by it. Only you guys can hear the rain, but honestly, sometimes I, I, I just have a massive headache from the whole thing, like I, I just can't stand it, you know. This video is very long. If you made it this far, I really appreciate you, but I, I, I don't know, like sometimes I just think back to the days when I just started to post videos on YouTube and I was getting less than 50 less than 50 views like I was getting about 20 views 30 views like I was posting so much videos just to get those amount of views and like I said before people would laugh at me because it would take so long for me to hit a thousand subscribers but eventually I started to grow so I had to keep growing and growing and growing and then I don't know where it just stopped but Nowadays, I just, I, I don't worry, but I'm kind of anxious that I will just fall back into that sector of the amount of views, you know? And I'm going to be so real, sometimes I've posted videos on my main channel that don't even hit 100 views, you know? And that would break me because it's like, I'm posting content that I actually enjoy and no one's watching them. Like me reacting to my old videos, barely anyone watched that. And it, it, it just hurts sometimes. And even with my second channel, oh boy, on there, I don't even post anything again. Like, even I said, it's just easier for me to just quickly make vlogs and here and there. Like, I, I don't even do that anymore because I'm just not motivated because I feel like I post on there, barely anyone even watches on there, you know? And I feel like if I post a video on there now, no one's gonna watch that anyway. And I'm so sorry to sound like, negative but it's the truth you know i have to be honest with myself here so that's why i don't really post on there like the uploads 
consistency on that channel is like months like one month ago you know the videos are months between each other and it's ridiculous because altogether i have three youtube channels this one my second channel and then the other one you guys don't know about because i keep that one private that's only for you know personal purposes but yeah like i i've been posting so much on that youtube channel the one that you guys don't know about and it's like i don't know like i i i just have fun on there because i'm posting videos that i enjoy over there you know and i every time i go out I'm, I'm motivated to post on there and i just don't have i should be having that motivation for all my youtube channels but i just have it for that one and it shouldn't be like that you know so that's what's that's kind of the main reason to why i have not been posting on here because i've just been posting so much over there like the vid the upload schedule on there is like every two days or every day or so you know and on there we, people actually watch those videos people enjoy it i'm actually getting views over there people are commenting you know i actually feel like i'm doing something that i enjoy so that's why i kind of feel like i've strayed away from this youtube channel and i'm going to be so honest if i had this amount of subscribers on that youtube channel that you guys don't know about i feel like i'd be enjoying myself much more i'd feel like i'd be getting more recognition I'd, in, I'd actually enjoy doing YouTube, you know? But it's like over here, it just feels like I'm forcing myself to do things and I need to stop feeling like that, but I can't. I'm honestly trying and it's hard, you know? Now, like even making this video, like knowing that it's gonna be, I don't know, about 30 minutes long, I just have it back in my head knowing that people are probably not even gonna watch this long or they'll just see how long my video is and won't even click on it, you know? But unfortunately this is what it's come to i'm annoyed that it's come to this but it is what it is honestly so i don't know but i hope you guys can at least understand where i'm coming from i don't know how my future is looking at this point but i'm just gonna leave it in the hands of god that's what i can do right now and just pray on it but um i hope you guys are staying safe as well Please continue to stay safe during the summer. But um yeah, I'm just gonna end the video here. But once again, stay safe and I'll catch you lot whenever I catch you lot and yeah. Please subscribe. Please. Please.